All right, I'm standing here with Lauren from XGrid. Uh, we're looking at the AOR Sierra. Sierra so yep. why don't you uh, give us a, a quick rundown? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we're here at Overland Expo and uh, we're introducing the AOR Sierra. We import these from Australia. They're 100% built in Australia. Um, this is actually the first one ever to be in the United States and we just got a container of them so they're ready to go. Um, what's great about these, these are 100% dust proof, uh, kind of a, you know off-road campers. They use an independent trailing arm suspension or proprietary suspension that AOR builds in-house. Uh, it's a steel chassis with a fiberglass body, an aluminum front, um, really capable for your off-grid trips. We have 52 gallons of water, about 2,100 pounds dry, and about 4,000 uh, pounds loaded up gross weight. Let's take a look. So on the driver's side here, we have the side entry galley, lots of storage for your pantry items, Nari cookie, utensils and gear, um, cabinet here, your roll out drawer for your silverware and utensils. Uh, you have hot and cold running, running water to the sink, and like I said, 52 gallons of water and some storage underneath it as well. We have a d bunch of different options for stoves. Uh, the ones we have coming in now have a two burner Thetford stove right here on this pull out tray. We can also go high pressure line right to um, like a Camp Chef. This is like a 30,000 BTU burner. So if you want to cook big meals, you have an option to do this. And then behind us here, we'll do uh, barbecue trays. So you can set a small barbecue right there or an extra stove. This has the Evacool 60 liter, which is an Australian fridge that they provide. Um, if you like something larger, a Truma, an ARB, a Snowmaster, you can do that as well here. Lots of storage on these units. All the way around, you'll see tons of storage. Plenty of place to put your gear and your equipment. Up top, we have a 180 degree awning. Uh, lots of options there, so you can pick the type of awning you want. And then off the rear, we have a changing room. So this is a drop down changing pod. This pod is attached. The entire changing room sits up underneath it. So if you don't want to open the changing room, you don't have to, but you can drop it down and you have a privacy enclosure. So as we walk in, plenty of room in here. Uh, people have used this for a small dining area if you if you have bad weather. You can use it also as a little dog bed, an area for the pets, or just a changing room. We'll put shelves down here, put your clothes, dump off your shoes, get all your, uh, your dirty clothes, and then you can crawl into the bedroom and you're ready to go. <laughs> so this is the cabin. Um, this is a uh, queen size bed. I'm sorry, it's a full size bed on this. Plenty of head space. It's nice and open and airy with this large uh, access panel on the side. You can sit here, look over the lake, river, and just feel like you're kind of living in the outdoors. Um, it doesn't feel claustrophobic because you have so much ventilation coming through here. There's that rear door you can, you can keep the window open. You can keep this window open. This will come down and you have a traditional window on it with your full blackout shade, as well as your screen that comes down from the top. So that's your bug screen, this comes through. And again, open the entire thing up. You have closet access right here from the front and it's accessible from the outside as well. So that's where a lot of people put their bags and their clothes, some extra gear so you can get to it from inside the cabin or from the outside. And underneath the bed, is our power management system. So here we're running 250 amp hour lithium batteries, so 300 amp hours of lithium total with the Red Arc Red Vision that provides your 30 amp shore charger, your uh, DC to DC as well as your solar charger. Uh, we have a 2000 watt inverter as well as a water filtration system. Underneath this side we have the spare tire. Uh, lots of storage here. Some people choose to take the spare tire, throw it up on the roof. They don't think they're going to need it very often. And then you have all this extra space for storage. <laughs> and, and access from the rear as well. Exactly. It's especially for the tire, that's important. So as you're on the trail, you can just open that up. You won't have the changing room down, of course, at that point. You can pull the spare tire right out. Wow. That's lots of open Pretty space. Nice. Yeah. Two 12 volt fans inside, some gear nets for your gear, some reading lights, um, your, th your, your shore charger uh, power is right there. Extra storage down here. Really deep cabinets, we have a big tub in there, you can get leveling blocks, you know, we put a bucket in there with our gear, extra tools, that sort of thing. 
And then we have a swing out shower enclosure. So this will swing back in when you're traveling. We pull it out so it's 90 degrees. That way it doesn't get in the way of any of the, um, the access panels. All right, cool. Yeah. Drops down, privacy shower. Some people also put the toilet back in the changing room. That way at night, you can crawl out the back, use the restroom, and get back into the cabin without ever going outside. During the day, if you want to put it out here, you can do that, and you also have your shower. We're running the Smart Tech instant hot water heater on these units. Um, there is the water connections right here on the side of the camp or the quick connect. This has the water output as well as a, wa a hot water input. So that's what's feeding hot water back to your sink. And then your propane connections right here. These can be mounted inside. We've done that as well. Um, so if you don't want it to be portable, you want to mount it, we can do that. Um, this has the optional bike rack, which will lift back up in place. Tons of storage in the front. And then right now we have our solar panel sitting up here, but this is actually a firewood rack. If you come around here, I can show you what this looks like. Oh, sorry. You're good. So this panel will lift up, folds down. If you want to put firewood right here as you're dri driving down a trail, you see a good piece of log, big log, pull it down, dump it on top, strap it down, and then get to your site and you're ready to go. That's nice. <laughs> These are... Uh, Pre-wired for solar. You have two Anderson connections. One's regulated, one's unregulated. You have your DC to DC already pre-wired, and you have the Cruise Master DO35 hitch as uh, as the coupler. So we're X-Grid campers. We uh, are bringing these in, like I said, from Australia. We have a couple in stock right now. Uh, base price is gonna be somewhere in the kind of mid 50 range, depending on how you set it up. Um, and then uh, just give us a call, xgridcampers.com. We heard Lauren talk about it. Yeah. Uh, let's, uh, I mean, really, it's it's kind of a neat camper. Yeah. Uh, this is, this is a real Australian rig, right? It's from a real Australian manufacturer. You can sort of see, at least in this model, maybe fewer bells and whistles. Uh, it's, it's more rugged. It's more rugged. Uh, I think that leaves room for flexibility, though. So as you're looking for options, like, like, do you really want to mount the hot water heater on a tripod up front, or do you want to mount it in a cargo bay somewhere? Yeah. Those, those options are available to you because it does have so much storage. There's some, yeah, it's flexible. It has a lot of potential and options. And I think the, the really good thing is that it's well built. Like you can tell, we've been around to many different manufacturers. And some of them you're looking at going, I, I'm not sure you should have brought this to the show. Um, but you can tell that this is very, very well built. So it's solid and you have some options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the sleeping space, I mean, really, Oh my gosh, it yeah, is, it so is, uh, this is, um, super comfortable. Um, you can see that it goes over the, the wheel, which I like, because that gives you more space. You didn't see Lauren's walkthrough. No, I didn't. Lift, lift this up. Oh, you've got space underneath. Look at all that. Oh yeah. So you've got even storage underneath. That's where you got your tire. Okay. Well, and you've got a closet space back here, which I love. I like the fact that they've thought through, like, you know, stick your phone there, stick your tablets. They've got, you know, they've, they've got some stuff. One thing that I'm not a big fan of, I don't like climbing down ladders. It's not my fave. So um, if I could figure out a stair system that I could throw in here, um, maybe that would make me a little happier. Um, but uh, but we like, it's definitely comfortable. Yeah, we we like to sit up in bed and work. Oh, yeah. And you know, this way, I mean, you can sit up against that wall. You can sit up against that wall. Right. And you got I mean, lots of just, just yeah. Think about your. You've got this window open. I mean, you could have this whole thing open or just the window, and you could sit up against that wall and watch the sun come up. Yeah. I mean, I can see myself sitting here at, on the the edge of a lake, watching the sun come up. You drinking coffee and me drinking a soda because that's the way we roll. <laughs> so I, I definitely um, like it and I can see some some options. What's that up there? Why it's we fan. Gotta, oh, uh, why we oh, I don't know. There? That's uh, that's it's a hook. I mean, it's not a hook. It's a ring. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a, a ring. ring. It's a, a ring of some kind. So I guess you could de-ring it and hang something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From, maybe, uh, from maybe, it? maybe a chandelier. 
Um, <laughs> right. So you've got power out here. I love that there's plenty of storage. I'm sure you already looked at that. Yeah, but look, so um, this is access to your closet from the outside. From so the outside. as you're, you don't have to crawl through your cabin mm -hmm. space to uh, to put your clothes for the weekend yeah. and to get your dirty clothes out. And, and this is deep. This is deep storage. So you can have all kinds of storage systems, which God knows I love a good storage system. <laughs> um, so I, I love that there's just so many different options and you have access both sides. So, and you can lock it up and, and yeah, it's just, it's it's well built. I don't know if I can get that sucker open. Oh, there we go. Same thing down there. Throw your your grub in there. Grub. That sounds like food, but you know your grubby things. <laughs> um, I think that this is also fascinating. So they have these all over. So this is so it goes up and down this way, but you can get access. Yeah. Um, so it's about it's about 12 inches back here. Okay, but they have several of these, and they have some of them that go across um, that go across the body so you can put your fishing poles or you know whatever else just, that yeah. can fit in there that it's, is long it's like uh, you know we we had some extra space here let's put an access yeah. port and a little cubby I right. mean really so why not they, <laughs> they utilized every single space that they have so um, let's let's go through this way I, I want to go through this tent so uh, let me, I, I really think it's important to talk about this little annex here because first of all, it is, uh, so it, it's a changing room, right? But look at the floor, if I can get the, the camera to it's, point down there, right? So I mean, how does this set up? Because this is, this, this all tucks down? in, it does. Oh. Yeah, it, it does, it, it comes in. This is actually the back of the uh, uh, of the, the the whole rig. Okay, got so it. So this closes up, and this up. this all collapses sort of inside so this is inside not, of this space. It's not like oh gosh, we're at camp and we need to set up something that's going to take us 20 minutes to set up. This is going to be a much more hey. Yeah. Gotta, okay, yeah. 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 And if if you say um, you know you can you can come back here, uh, you can jump in this way, you can open the side hatch, you know, with a little step stool and mm -hmm. uh, just throw yourself in. But what I like about this space this it's it's not like it's just an annex that or just some sidewalls the floor is I mean it's it's a uh, it's a canvas floor canvas rubber floor so you, you it's it's sturdy you're if if you roll up into a, uh, a campground and it starts raining this is dry Right. This is dry space. If you close the doors, because of how this is sealed, and uh, behind here, this is all still part of this annex, you get basically an, an extra insulated space. Right, because this right here is space that, I mean, can't you... What did they say about this? Can, can yeah, so that's like a, over. yeah, yeah, so I, don't know how to get I think this whole thing goes. Oh, there you go. oh that's it, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, there. You know what I'm seeing back here? I'm seeing a dog bed. <laughs> because right. Because this right. is probably a, um, a full size or an, a full extra long. I think you long, said full, yeah. Full extra long or something like that. Um, so I am seeing a dog bed out here so they don't have to be up there, but they're still inside. And you can, yeah. I mean, it's just you've just got some options. You've got some good lighting. Yeah. yeah if you if you uh, if you want to keep the doors open, run your furnace in the day, uh, run your AC during the day, you can cool this space off as well, or heat this space as well. Uh -huh. um, uh, like Chris said, not a huge fan of the no, ladders. No, it's one of the reasons we don't like rooftop tents. You know, we're not huge fans of having to climb down. Um, ladders, but you know, the, I think it's a, a small, a small thing. This isn't we can this isn't out. a big ladder. <laughs> no, it's not. Right. No, no, it's just a few steps. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so yeah. so far, so far we like all this. Yeah. Um, in terms of uh, so uh, AC and heat, uh, Lauren did not mention that both are uh, you know available options. They've got a, a number of different uh, uh, options for uh, for both uh, AC and heat, uh, just not you know maybe particular on this rig yet. Um, but in future rigs, it is solar ready. Uh, the, the the rooftop space is massive. Uh, we saw earlier was it a 300 or a 350 watt? 
um, uh, solar uh, mat that you could even walk on. They had a sign on it that said, walk on me. It was right? Oh, it was 500? Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, just imagine, you know, plopping that down on this roof because this roof is yeah, big enough. Could manage. This roof is big enough for that. Yeah. Um, so the kitchen here, I think, is um, is relatively basic, uh, but again, I, it's but functional. It, it's it's functional, it's basic, but it's configurable, right? So um, they've got the stove here, uh, you know, on a camp chef, um, which can they, store up here because there's enough room. Yep, uh, they they you could put it, here. It, it could be it could be configured to to, to be here uh, if if you wanted to. You've got a little bit of space uh, uh, for countertop. Maybe, maybe we've seen bigger, right? Definitely seen bigger. Um, but I mean, yeah, and there's you know access below. You've got plenty of you've got storage space up here, which is great. Um, it's got USB and DC, right? And then you've got drawer space here and and even over here. So you've got lots of storage um, space. Uh, again, this this refrigerator. Honestly, uh, <laughs> this refrigerator looks small. It looks small for this space. Uh, you know, it, clearly it's a, 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 a good size refrigerator. They've got. Uh, How do you get it down? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, no. I bet it's. You gotta. Oh, bend that. Just bend it. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so. But, but for this particular space, this refrigerator is, uh, is small. Uh, I mean, you can see how much oh, gap yeah. you've got. So just you know, pan around and show. Yeah. So we, we haven't uh, we haven't done a walkthrough on this one, but you can see they've got a uh, um, same you know, shoe fire that was hot. Oh, I bet. That's a. Yeah, that's a. <laughs> that was painful. Ooh. Care, care. Care. Yeah, but you've got a a much larger refrigerator that yeah. can fit in, in that space. So yeah. Just, just a tip. This is the refrigerator we have in the Jeep. Yes, it is. Love it, love it, love it. Um, it's yeah. We takes up the entire back side. Of the Jeep. <laughs> it does. It does. We, he, he, he loves the refrigerator, and I'm not saying I don't. It just takes up the entire back of the Jeep. So, um, yeah. So man, that was. This is fine right here, but that was stinking hot. Oh, I bet. Over there. Um, but here, if you wanted a camp stove here, you yeah, could put yeah. a camp stove here, which would probably be better for me because I'm shorter. So it'd be better for me than, than this. But this could be a prep area, or this could be the the area that you put your extra food that people come do their little buffet. Yeah. Or if yeah. you're those kind of people. Yeah. Um, yeah. So um, love that it uses the full space over the wheel. What else? Um, <laughs> while I'm looking at it. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll ask Lauren here in a minute. I want to know what size tires these are. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a monster. So this is the what I was talking about. It actually goes all the way across. And I yeah. think this is fascinating. It's for your firewood. I firewood. Mean, that's great. I mean, or dirty chairs. Or, yeah, or you know, whatever you've gotten wet. Your your rug, the, your nasty rug that you got rained on or the people had their dirty feet all over. <laughs> that can throw up there. And then the amount of storage in there is just huge. Yeah, right? yeah. So. I mean, look at this. This is a, you know, a mounted tongue bike rack. I mean, this is just, holy crap. This is huge. Uh, Okay. Yeah, I just want to show the the scale of the roof. I mean, that is huge. Okay. All right. Well, so what do you what do you think overall? <laughs> I like oh, I like it. What's the weight on this again? Uh, 22, 2100. 2100. Right, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And what size tires are those? 35. Oh, jeez. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so, so, uh, 35 inch tires. Uh, love the clearance, love the suspension, love the size, love the weight. So, I mean, yeah, you, you can load this thing up uh, with quite a bit of gear and still be under our 3,500 pound limit. This is this is worth a serious look, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, if you get a chance, uh, X Grid campers, check them out. Yeah. Um, maybe another thing we've uh, we've sort of downplayed this uh, more recently, but. When you're talking about a trailer of this weight, uh, about 2,100 pounds, um, 
off-road capability becomes a, a, a bigger, bigger factor. And, uh, you know, there's several things in play with an off-road type of trailer. You've got, uh, uh, you know, tire size, uh, ground clearance. Uh, but one of the things that is maybe underrepresented in a lot of the argument is uh, your departure angle. That departure angle is really a representation of how you're coming off an obstacle with your tires and what the impact of that angle that you're coming down off of all the way back up into uh, you know the, the back side of your rig. Uh, I think Lauren said that the departure angle, and let me show you uh, you know this, uh, this whole angle here between the, the back of the tire. 41 degrees so uh, you know lots of clearance as you're coming off of obstacles you know, we, we like to say that you know you can control the uh, the line that you're traveling with your tow vehicle with your Jeep or you know however you're navigating the, the, the roads but it's really a lot harder to control the uh, uh, the obstacles that your uh, uh, your trailer is covering, so so having having good ground clearance and having this good departure angle uh, makes a big difference when you're uh, when you're really talking about an off-road capable rig.